I'm hoping they're gonna do well these. Yeah. That's the problem that's probably the best one to fertilise, but we'll do it. I'll do it on this one first. This is a variety of uh, sweet corn called Painted Mountain. Um, and what we're going to look at today is how to hand pollinate it. Generally, if you've got a field of corn, what happens is the wind will, will blow the corn and the, the pollen will come out and pollinate the rest of the, the plant. Um, but in a small patch like this, it, it's better really to, to hand pollinate because it, it's more reliable. So there's, there's, the main two parts to the corn is You've got at the top, this is called the, um, it's like an antler or a, a tassel. So that's the male part. And down here, at the, lower down, you've got, these are called the silks and these are the female part. And you have to get the pollen from the male part onto the female part. And that's what produces your cobs. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you one method first. Just gonna take out one of these strands. You must be a step ladder for this, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they are quite big. So I've done it nice and gently. The reason being that that's, that is full of pollen. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to transfer the pollen from the male onto the female. And each one of these strands, it doesn't really matter where you put the, the pollen, but each one of these strands goes down into the cob and each one of those is a kernel. So if you don't pollinate, pollinate each strand, you won't get a full cob. Uh, you can't really do it too much. The more you do it, the better. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to damage the female part, the silk, but um, it's, they're quite robust. But yeah, you need to get as much pollen on there as you can. And you need to do that really within, once the silk start appearing, you need to do that within sort of, I would say with, within a week to 14 days. Don't leave it any longer than that because it'll start to die off. And once it's died off, you can't pollinate it and you've already you've lost your opportunity to get a full cob. Now, there's no guarantee you'll get a full cob anyway, but it's a better method than just letting nature take its course. Yeah, increasing its chances. Yeah. So the other way to do it, if you want to do it on a, on a quicker scale, because that is time, quite time-consuming because you have to take all these off and transfer it to each of the silks. I'll just wait for the wind to die down a little. There we go. Um, so if I just tap that, you should see the pollen fall from the tassel at the top. You see it going, blowing that, it's, it's, it is blowing this because there's a gentle breeze. So in a field, that'd be fine because it'd be surrounded by other cobs, by other corn. Um, but here, it's blowing away. So that's the reason I did it the other method. It's more reliable. Right. Um, but yeah, there's, there's tons of pollen up there, but we need to transfer that down onto the silks. Yeah. It doesn't really it doesn't matter whereabouts on the silk you put it. You can put it right at the end or right at the top. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's quite they seem quite sticky. There's all you know. Yeah. It wants to attract to the to the silk. Get the pollen stuck on there. Because obviously insects will pollinate as well. Yeah, yeah. They'll go from the male down to the female and pollinate that way. Um, but it's just giving nature a helping hand really. Yeah. Um, I, I, I won't take all the antlers off the uh, tassel just just enough to pollinate what I want because obviously you want the, the bees and, and insects to get some of the pollen as well yeah being being nature friendly yeah you know like you, sometimes you buy them from a supermarket and you open them up and you've got kernels missing oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just what yeah. it's just because that that part of the silk hasn't been pollinated, hasn't been pollinated yeah right. there's no guarantees you know yeah. Subscribe to the MV YouTube channel to be notified of regular Dave's Corner videos.